In this video, we are creating AutoCAD command for standard pipe. Here is quick look of my pipe command. Let's watch the demo. Type my pipe command. A window will appear. Select pipe size from list. Select pipe schedule from list. Type pipe length in text box. Type angle of pipe from vertical axis in text box. Click draw 3D button. 3D pipe will be created. Repeat same procedure for other pipe. View 3D pipe in shaded mode. Orbit 3D pipes using 3DO command in AutoCAD. How we can make this command? Follow the step by step procedure. Before starting, you must have 1. Visual Studio 2013, 2. AutoCAD 2017, 3. Object arcs for AutoCAD 2017. Step 1. Creating project. Start Visual Studio and create class library project. Let's see how. Open Visual Studio. Click File. Select New. Click Project. Click Visual Basic. Click Windows. Click Class Library. Click OK. Class library project created. Step 2. Adding references. In this step, you have to add these 6 DLL files from object ARX underscore 2017 folder to your project. Click project menu. Click add references. Click browse button. Go to C drive and open object ARX underscore 2017 folder. Open Inc, Win32 folder. Select these two files. Click Add button. Click Browse button again. Open Inc folder. Select these four files. Click Add button. Click OK button. In Solution Explorer. Right click on class library 2. Click properties. Click references. Select these 6 files. Go to properties. Select false for embed interop types. Select false for copy local. Make sure. All these six files must be shown false here. Save project. Step 3. Setting .NET Framework version in your project. We have to set .NET Framework 4.5.1. Because this is same version used in AutoCAD 2017. In Solution Explorer. Right click on Class Library 2. Click Properties. Click Application. Select .NET Framework 4.5.1. Click Yes. Save Project. Step 4. Add Form and Module to your project. In your project, you have one form, one module, and one class. Click Project Menu. And click Add Windows Form. Click Add button. Click Project menu again. Click Add module. Click Add button. Here you have one class, one form, and one module in your project. Step 5. Adding controls to form 1. In this step, you will add 11 labels, one group box, four text boxes, two combo boxes, and one button to form one. In Solution Explorer, 
Double click on Form 1. To change the title of Form 1, go to Properties. Change text property from Form 1 to B36.10 pipe. Click Toolbox. Search Group Box. And add to your form. Click Toolbox. Search Label. And add to your form. Copy Label by Control C. And Paste by Control V. Do until 11 labels added. Click Toolbox. Search Text Box. And add to form. Copy Text Box. And paste three times. Click Toolbox. Search Combo Box. And add to form. Copy Combo Box. And paste. Click Toolbox, Search Button, and Add to Form. Change Text Property of All Labels. Save project. Step 6. Changing controls names. In this step, we have to change names of combo boxes and text boxes. The name of control will be used in programming. We will set the specific name to each control which is then used in programming. Select combo 1. Go to properties. Rename combo box 1 to pipe size combo. Select Combo Box 2. Rename to Pipe Underscore SCH. Rename remaining text boxes as shown. Select Pipe Size Combo. Go to Properties. Find Drop Down Style Property. Change Drop Down to Drop Down List. Do same for Pipe Schedule Combo Box. Save Project. Step 7 Define Pipe Data Array. In this step, we will create 2D array of pipe data. This array has 36 rows and 19 columns. Open this Excel sheet. This sheet has pipe schedule table. Having 19 columns and 36 rows. Select table without headings. Right click. And click copy. Click plus to add new sheet. Paste table here. 
right click and click format cells select text and click ok insert column before a column and follow the procedure Step 8. Adding items to combo boxes. In this step, we will add pipe sizes to pipe size combo box and pipe schedules to pipe schedule combo box. In Solution Explorer, double click on Form 1. Select pipe sizes and copy. Paste using Ctrl V. Select Pipe Schedule and copy. Paste Special within Excel Sheet to make it vertical. Now copy this vertical column.
paste here. Save project. Step 9. Adding program to combo boxes. In this step, we will add program to combo boxes. When we select any item in pipe size combo, the pipe outside diameter will be written in pipe OD text box. When we select any item in pipe schedule combo, the pipe thickness will be written in pipe thickness text box. Double click on pipe size combo. Write program as shown. Double click on pipe schedule combo and add program as shown. Save program. Step 10. Creating sub function for pipe. Before programming sub function, we have to understand basic concept about pipe geometry and AutoCAD functions. Pipe geometry. Pipe has three main parameters. 1. Pipe inside diameter. 2. Pipe wall thickness. 3. Length of pipe. In AutoCAD pipe can be modeled using two common methods. 1. Extrude or sweep. 2. Revolve. In this program, we will model pipe using revolve method. In this method, we need. 1. Cross section shown as red. 2. Revolution axis shown as blue line. 3. Revolution angle. Cross section. The cross section of pipe is simple rectangle. This rectangle will be created using polyline. AutoCAD lightweight polyline requires X and Y values. In programming, we need an array P having index from 0 to 7, as shown here. All points are defined clearly here. These same formulas will be used in programming. Pipe modeling subfunction. These are main steps. 1. Creating cross section by lightweight polyline. 2. Converting polyline to AutoCAD entity. 3. Creating region from AutoCAD entity. 4. Creating 3D solid pipe by revolving region to 360 degrees. Step 11. Start making program for pipe subfunction. Open module 1. Import AutoCAD functions. Get AutoCAD drawing file. Create pipe subfunction. In Solution Explorer, double click Module 1. Write program for importing AutoCAD functions as shown here.
Right program to get AutoCAD drawing file as shown. Save project. Write pipe sub function as show here. Here we are making public sub pipe with ID, thickness and length arguments. Now we are creating P line variable as a CAD LW polyline. Now create P array having index from 0 to 7. Create center point variable. Assign values to center point variable. Write formulas for each P point as shown here. Write program to create polyline using P points defined above.
cross section must be closed. Add this to make closed polyline. Now we are converting polyline to entity. Create region from entity. Create two point variables for revolution axis. 1. Start point of axis that is. Axis point. 2. End point of axis that is. Axis direction. Create variable for angle of revolution. Create public variable for 3D solid object that is. Pipe. Delete polyline and region. Save project. Step 12. Adding program to draw 3D button. In this step. We will create five variables. Get values from text boxes and assign to variables. Call pipe subfunction. Rotate pipe to angle. Regenerate drawing. Zoom all drawing. Double click form 1. Double click draw 3D button. Create five variables. ID. 
OD. Thickness. Angle. Length. Get values from text boxes and assign to these variables. Call pipe subfunction. To correct this error, open module 1. Move center point variable from local to public. Now error is corrected. Save project. Step 13. Create AutoCAD command my pipe. In this step, open class 1 and add this program. Double click class 1 from Solution Explorer. Add the program as shown here. Save project. Step 14. Creating DLL file for AutoCAD. In this step, we will create DLL file. Click Build menu. Click Configuration Manager. Select Release. Click Build menu. Click Build Solution. Here we found two errors. Double click on second error. 
Change ACAD region to object. Double click on error 1. Put space here. Click build menu. Click build solution. Here you see. DLL file is created. Step 15. Testing my pipe command in AutoCAD. In this step, we will load DLL file in AutoCAD. Then run my pipe command. Open AutoCAD 2017. Type net load command. Select class library 2.dll file. Type my pipe command. A window will appear which we created. Input the values and click draw 3D. Here we found an error. Click continue. Here you see. Your pipe is modeled. Step 16. Resolving error. In this step, we will resolve the error. Open module 1. Write program as shown. Save project. Click build menu. Click build solution. Open AutoCAD. Type net load command. Select class library 2.dll and click open. Type my pipe command. Input values and click draw 3D button. Here you see. We resolved error.